Fungal spores are everywhere. They can be easily carried by wind or rain to susceptible plants and infect. Spores produced on infected plants spread to other leaves and plants, continuing the cycle of disease. Many times, fungicides must be used to prevent infection and stop the disease cycle. Fungicides are composed of tiny molecules. These molecules can bind to proteins, machines that keep the fungal cells running. When the fungicide binds, the protein can no longer perform its function, resulting in death of the fungus. Unfortunately, Unlike human medicines, most modern fungicides are unable to cure disease. They can only prevent it. If they are applied after infection, they have limited effect and may encourage development of fungicide resistance. Every once in a while, a spore is different. Resistant. Deep inside the resistant spore, the DNA sequence is different. This tiny difference in DNA sequence results in a protein that is shaped differently, and the fungicide can no longer bind. The protein continues working, though it may not perform as well, and the fungus is not killed. Unfortunately, each time this fungicide is sprayed, normal spores will die, but resistant spores will survive and reproduce. Eventually, resistance will take over the field and the fungicide can no longer control the disease. Fortunately, there are many methods for breaking this cycle of resistance. First, tank mixing two fungicides with different modes of action is most effective. Second, applying fungicides before the field is full of disease can prevent the disease from taking over. Third, Integrating non-chemical disease management methods can help fungicides out. Fourth, applying fungicides only when plants are most susceptible to disease, for example, before or after a rain event. Overusing fungicides is one of the key causes of resistance. Fifth, applying fungicides at the suggested rate and not below or above.